Hey. Listen. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allison. If not, thank you so much for tuning back in. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all my newborn essentials slash registry must-haves. Now, these are the items that we found very helpful to us. Um, our baby is not a newborn anymore. It's, now that we're past that stage, I feel like I'm in a good place to uh, like recommend some stuff that worked for us. I do have those things um, in a notebook here so that I don't forget anything. So if you see me looking down, that's what I'm looking at. So I have mom brain, so I didn't want to forget anything, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. And I'm not sure if I have like a favorite out of all of these items, but there are some things that I swear by. And um, for a lot of these things, there are things that I did research on. I read a lot of um, mom blogs and just watched a lot of videos here on YouTube. And also I read some recommendations from Reddit. So yeah, like I said, I'm going to try and organize these by like the category. So I'm going to go ahead and like start out with the diapering stuff. And my number one thing on that list would have to be um, the organization cart that we got from Amazon. They do have like quite a few of them that are pretty similar to that, uh, the one that we use. That has been the most amazing thing. We still use it to this day because baby is still sleeping with us in the room. So we found it mostly helpful when the baby is like sleeping in the room with you just to kind of have everything. I was like a little mobile changing station and the cart has wheels in it and we put everything on there from like the diapers, the wipe warmer and um, everything else that the baby needed frequently for changes. So yeah, that would definitely have to be like the number one thing on there. And I'm so glad I saw it in somebody's video because that was very helpful to us. And then keeping up with that theme of diapering, the next thing on my list would have to be the Ubi diaper pail. I know some people don't find like diaper pails useful. I honestly think it's like a matter of preference. I definitely found ours to be very useful. I don't know what it's like to like <laughs> not have it. But I do have to say like I've never had any issues with it and... We usually keep it for like a few days um, until it's like almost full. Shoes. I feel like it does a really great job of keeping the smell in there, which was like the most important thing for me. You can hardly tell that there's like diapers in the room when you walk in. Like it's that good. I, I feel like the only time it would maybe get bad if you let it get like really full without changing it out for a few days. But other than that, it has been uh, amazing and it's done a great job. And, and I believe for the Ubi, you don't have to use the brand specific trash bags. I think you can use like any other bag that fits in the trash can. All right, and then the next thing uh, would be some sort of like diaper cream. We have two that we use and our baby has never had diaper rush on wood so far. And the one that we use is just like the baby aquaphor, which I learned from Reddit. Like it's not that different from the regular aquaphor. They just slap on the baby name on there. So you're okay just getting even like the regular aquaphor. The other one that we really love when we noticed a little bit of inflammation in the beginning up was the Mustela diaper rush cream. Uh, we did notice like a little bit of inflammation and we uh, slapped that on there and it was gone in like a few hours. So, all right, and then next I'm going to move over to sleep items and I do have to start out with my absolute favorite thing. And I have a theory that this helped the baby sleep better. I may be wrong, but we did notice a difference in sleep when the baby was wearing this versus when they were not. And that would have to be the Love to Dream Swaddle. And I remember seeing a lot of recommendations for the Swaddle, I, both um, on Reddit and on YouTube and whenever i saw it i was like this is kind of a funny shaped swaddle and it was very different from like the traditional swaddle but um also at some point when we were at the hospital one of the nurses says she doesn't recommend like the manual swaddle she prefers some either like the velcro swaddles or the ones with the zipper just because those are a little bit safer when it comes to like suffocation and stuff like that so that's kind of what made me go on the hunt for a velcro swaddle or one with a zipper and the love to dream swaddle came highly recommended and for that swaddle we used it quite a bit until the baby did not fit in it anymore and we used it quite early on from when we came back home from the hospital i believe we used it like three days after we got home and the first couple of days like the baby was not very fond of it but after that like everything was very smooth sailing and the baby took like three hour naps in that swaddle i kid you not and also, we use that for bedtime. Other than when the baby was waking up every three hours to feed, they did sleep a little bit longer, like four hours. The sleep just kind of got better from there. Now, I'm not saying like this is like a magical sleep thing, but for me, I definitely feel like it helped the baby sleep better because the times when I didn't put that swaddle on the baby, like she would constantly wake up. And whenever they were in that swaddle and like a manual swaddle, they definitely slept better. So 
yeah um i personally didn't like any of the velcro swaddles i think we have like a set of three for those uh i believe it's like the swaddle me brand if i'm not mistaken somehow the baby would find a way to like worm their way out of it and then when the baby got a little bit older it was just too tight so yeah it just didn't really work for me at any point i mean we did use it sometimes whenever we were like had the other one in the laundry or just wanted to switch things up but i don't think the baby slept as good as they did in like the love to dream swaddle so and then next on this list is a sound machine i don't have like a specific one on here only because i believe like almost any sound machine would work for this honestly because there's been times when the baby's like napping in the living room and not in the bedroom where they have their sound machine and i've just like popped on some like rain sounds on my phone and that also worked just as well for the baby so i honestly think like any sound machine would work I don't remember the name of the one that we have specifically, but I'll put it down below in the description box. We did get it as a present from one of our friends when they found out that we were pregnant. So I think any sound machine would work, honestly. And I have also noticed that the baby does sleep better whenever there is like some sort of sound playing in the background. Maybe he hates like absolute silence, so that doesn't work. So a sound machine definitely was a must have for us and still is to this day even when our baby is not a newborn anymore. So. Right, and then the next thing I have on here is a bassinet. I feel like that's pretty obvious, but um, it also depends on like your sleeping arrangement. For us, the baby slept in their bassinet like right from the hospital. They did sleep in like the hospital bassinet while we were at the hospital and we were there four days. So I kind of feel like the baby got used to sleeping in the bassinet. So when we got home, we just transitioned the baby right away into the, their bassinet here. You don't have to get the expensive snoo. I know I didn't. I did consider it and a lot of people that have it do say that it helps the baby sleep better. But I just got like a regular one from Amazon. I'll insert down below in the description bar exactly which one it was. And next is the baby monitor. So I didn't want anything that connects to the internet just because I am very good at the internet. And I know also like even other people that are very good at the internet with not so good intentions are on the internet. And it's just like one of those things that creeped me out because I did read like some horror stories on Reddit and I probably shouldn't have. So I didn't get one that had like a wireless connection. So the one that we use is the Infant Optics and we haven't had any like major issues with it so far. At one point the monitor did turn off and we called Amazon and we just had like somebody troubleshoot it for us and it's been working well since then. But yeah, I definitely really love that one. The sound is good and so is the picture quality and I have no complaints. So okay. yeah. So the next thing that we loved and still love to this day was our Maxi Cosi lounger seat. And um, I know like one of the other popular ones is kind of like the Mamaru and I know they have some other ones that are uh, automated. We didn't use our lounger until the baby was like six weeks I believe. Uh, only because you do have to wait until their neck is a little bit stronger for you to put them in that seat. But she loves sitting in that seat and whenever she's like fed and happy she just like chills out in there and it's been like very helpful also just to you know like have your hands free and have the baby just like be a little bit independent whilst you being next to us so they're not laying down all the time so yeah i definitely love that it's actually one of the things i thought that we wouldn't get a lot of use out of but so far it's one of the things that we have gotten the most use out of to the point where we bring it with us even whenever we're visiting family just because the baby likes to be in it so yeah but we also especially like that ours uh, lays almost flat and so it's very easy to travel with also if that's something that you think you might do so we liked ours for that the next thing i wanted to share with you guys was our stroller slash nursing cover and the one i got was by aiden and anais i liked that it was very stretchy we got it in like a gray neutral color i cover it with the, on the stroller every time that we go out and weirdly enough it's like a thing that people have asked us about and complimented us on i also think it was like very helpful only because with like the pandemic and everything it was just very nice for whenever i wanted to feel a little bit safer with having the baby out in public especially when we we're out at like the mall or like the supermarket it was just nice to have the baby covered and yeah we still use it to this day and it's holding on pretty well so the next thing i have on here is um the kikaroo peanut changer oh my god i had completely forgotten the brand name for that and it just like came to me 20 seconds before i said it so thank god but i absolutely love that changer uh it gives me a little bit of peace of mind because we have had like a couple of peeing accidents since we had the baby and i just like that none of that was like on our bed i also like that it's easy to carry around so it's like pretty mobile i had to take a break but i'm back and hopefully better <laughs> so the first time i heard about the peanut changer was here on youtube and then i just kind of went digging after that and decided that it would be an amazing thing for us to have 
and it has been all right and then i'm gonna go ahead and go on to the feeding items and if there's anything else i've forgotten i'll kind of leave that towards the end with all the other miscellaneous items so as far as like uh feeding and cleaning stuff for the baby uh, one thing that has been very helpful and Stu is up until now and I feel like we're going to be using it much much later even when the baby is like eating other things has been the baby Brezza. Is it pronounced Brezza or Brezza? I don't know. So the baby Brezza has been very helpful for us. I wish we were able to load more bottles into it but I also do realize that if that was the case it would be much bigger than it is and it is kind of big already. But we just usually have it like sitting out on the countertop only because we do run it like a couple of times throughout the day. It's just so much quicker and it gives me a little bit like peace of mind just to know like bottles and feeding items have been sterilized uh, obviously this would be different like you know if you're exclusively breastfeeding but I do combination feeding and it's also very good for sterilizing my pumping parts as well as well as the baby's pacifiers so yeah I found that to be pretty helpful and the next thing I have is the bottle warmer and we use the kind I believe it's how it's pronounced and I haven't had any issues with it so far I feel like it does a pretty good job I've never had like any situation where the milk was like too hot or anything like that um, there has been like a couple of times that I've run it and it just didn't get warm enough and I had to run it a second time but I definitely prefer that versus having like super hot milk that the baby is not able to drink all right so, and then the next thing I have on here I feel like this applies both to mom and baby would be my breast pump and this also depends on what kind of food your baby's eating or how you're feeding your baby but I do do a combination of breastfeeding and pumping so the pump that I've been using is a Spectra S1 and I'm in love with it I especially love that it has like a rechargeable battery so I don't have to stay hooked up to the wall and we do love to travel I haven't been traveling because of the pandemic obviously but I have been able to like take it with me whenever we're going somewhere and I need to pump in the car I just like that it's it's mobile and I know there's like other pumps that do that but whenever I was like doing my research that came up as like the best pump and also it was like cl the closest to being hospital grade and it was very important for me to have a pump that was like efficient so I couldn't avoid things like engorgement but then also have it be mobile and that was the best option for us and I love it so far so yeah is the last thing i wanted to mention that i didn't mention in my postpartum video that i posted this one also is strictly for mama but it definitely helped me in the beginning especially when the baby was like learning how to latch and we were kind of figuring out our breastfeeding journey and the nipples were very sore it is um the earth mama nipple butter that has been a lifesaver for me and then even now especially that i pump more i definitely find that it's less painful whenever I use that and I'm so glad I'm like not dry pumping anymore because I learned the hack to like apply the nipple butter before pumping and I find that it's more efficient and less painful that way. So I have gotten to the end of this video. If you made it through to the end, thank you so much for watching. If you're a new mama or like you're going to be a new mama, congratulations and good luck. If you have any questions or comments for me, please leave them down below. Or if you have any recommendations for things that you think might be useful to me as a mom as well, then you can go ahead and leave those down below in the comment bar below. I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye. I'm shy. I'm not going to film if you're standing there. Do you think you're so funny? Bye. Bye. <laughs> it's blinking red so it's on, right? Yeah. Okay.